Index match in Excel is a powerful lookup function. Actually, when we compare index match versus VLOOKUP, then the index match function is a lot more powerful since it is way more flexible than the VLOOKUP function. Now, let's look at an example so that you learn how to use the index match function. And actually, since the index match function is a combination of the index function and the match function, we will look at these two functions separately and afterwards we will combine them so that you know how to use these functions properly. Now we have a list here with some data. So let's say we have some stores, a store in New York, Chicago and an online store. And in these different stores, we are selling different products and we achieve different revenues. Now let's look at the match function first. So we type in equals match and then we have to pass this function a lookup value. So let's say the lookup value should be iPhone 13 mini. Then we type in iPhone 13 mini. And now we have to give this function a lookup array. And the lookup array needs to contain this lookup value. So in our case, it is the combined column from our table. This whole column is the lookup array because somewhere in this array, we can find our lookup value, the iPhone 13 mini. And I see I actually have a typo here. It is a big P. Okay, so now when we go to the end of the formula, um, we also have to type in whether it should be an exact match or not. But in our case, it should be an exact match. So we type in zero and close this function, hit the enter key. And now you can see the value we are getting is number four. So why are we getting number four? Let's look at the function again. We have this array here. The function is searching for the word iPhone 13 mini. And iPhone 13 mini is basically on the fourth position in our array. So we have position one here, then two, three, four. And this is what the function is returning. The match function is returning the position inside our array. Therefore, number four. Okay, let's now look at the index function. We type in equals index. And here in this function, we first of all have to select the array. So let's now go into the store column and select the whole store column array. Now, when we select this column, we then go to the next function argument, which is the row number. And here we could, for example, say, give us the value inside this array on position four. Now we can close this function already, hit the enter key, and you can see the value that is being returned is online. So what is the function doing? It goes into our selected array, and then it goes to position number four in that array. So one, two, three, four, and now it returns this value here, which is the value online. And now we're going to combine these functions. So now we basically want to have the item iPhone 13 mini, and we want to know in which store is it being sold. So for that, we combine these two functions. We first of all type in index, and here we have to select the array from which the end result should be returned. The end result, which we're interested in, is the store. So we select the store array. Then we have to get the row number in this array. And this is where the match function comes into play. So now we type in match. And here, we first of all enter our lookup value, which is iPhone 13 mini here. Then we select the lookup array. So in which array can we find iPhone 13 mini? This is the combined column and the match type, which is zero. And then we can close the match function and we can close the index function. 
And now we can see the iPhone 13 mini is being sold in the online store. And let's again just go through the function to see what it does. First of all, the function checks in the table one combined column. So here in this column, it checks on which position is the value from cell i2, so the iPhone 13 mini. And it is on position number four, one, two, three, four. Now it passes the result number four to the index function. And the index function is basically returning a value from the store column, as you can see here, store. And since the match function is passing the number four, the index function is returning the value online. So we are basically going from this column, from row number four, directly into the store column and returning this value here. And that's it about the index match function. I hope you liked the video, that you learned a lot. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and I see you in the next video.